in other areas, is really you know, these attacks on cops, Neil. This is a ta an attack on the rule of law. This is a George Soros-funded anarchist effort, and we have to rid ourselves of this na naive view that it's anything but. This is not about protests. It's not about inequality. It's not about any of those things. This is a George Soros-funded assault on American tradi traditional American values and Western well, culture, know, and Sheriff, until we the, wake up in that slumber. I, seriously, sir, I don't know in the beginning, on the first night, whether that was George Soros inspired. I don't know what's happened since. But there are a lot of people who are seizing on this, and they're saying that whatever you think of what happened, wh whether you know there, there was a gun involved uh, in, in the shooting that prompted all of this, that, that the, the Charlotte police are holding back and, and getting mixed signals, and that, that that's why the rioting has ensued. Where do you draw the line between the people's right to protest and the people's uh, right in that area just to go about their daily lives. I had Jesse Jackson here the other day who said he could understand the violence and the looting. He could understand that. That's part of, of their right. What did you make of that? Well, it's not part of their right. Look, here's where I draw the line, Neil. When the rocks and bottles, the first rock, the first brick, the first bottle that's thrown at a law enforcement officer, all bets are off. And then all reasonable force, I didn't say any force, all reasonable force has to be used to maintain law and order, the order of the community, the protection of businesses, and the safety of the, the, the law enforcement officers on the scene. And it has to be assertive. Look, we know how to do this, but these cops on the front line, in fairness to them, I'm not being critical of them. I'm being critical of the orders they're getting from up above to soft shoe this thing to... Uh, you know, hold the line, so to speak, as they're getting pelted with bricks and, rocks, uh, bricks and rocks. I heard that 16 law enforcement officers have been injured. Probably some other innocent uh, citizens were injured, too. That's beyond protesting in America. Dr. Martin Luther King knew how to do it, okay? He didn't bring people that had bricks and rocks and, 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 and uh, a stoning of the police and looting of, of businesses and, and rioting. He didn't do it, and he made more social change doing it his way, the way all Americans got behind him. After seeing King said, yeah, we got to do something here, peaceful protest. Uh, and the entire country got behind King to affect social change. The entire country right now, they're against this crap that's going on now. Sure. Thank you very, very much. On a busy news day, we appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Neil. All right, the uh, museum opening, a new one on America.